Hi there, Michelle with Crafty Servings. It's been so long since I've been on a live. So tonight I'm going to make a primitive Santa ornament, but I'll also tell you how you can change it up so that it's not primitive. All right. So you want to see the Santa I'm making and like I said, you can definitely change it up so that it's not primitive. This is primitive. It's a Santa ornament and I think he's cute. He's easy. He's messy, but, but he's easy. Um, but you can definitely change it up just by doing some things differently. So this is what we're making. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with scrap fabric, whatever fabric you have. I have this fabric. This is what I'm making the beard out of. I love this fabric and it doesn't take much, so I'll still have a lot of it left. But this is the fabric we're gonna be using for the beard. Um, you really don't see all this, but you, I mean, you get some of that darkness in here, but it, it, I love this fabric. It's what I have here though. You could use, now if you don't want it as rustic as this, use a fabric, um, use maybe a plain fabric and you wouldn't necessarily use the grunge that I'm going to be using tonight. Well, I'm glad you did too, Laura. I appreciate it. All right. So I'm going to, this is a little edge here that we don't need. Now this fabric tears pretty easily. This fabric, if, if I'm not mistaken, is probably from Hobby Lobby, but like I said, I got it last year or the year before, maybe even. You had this fabric. Hello, Kathy. I'm glad to be on. All right. So I think I'm going to tear two of them. I, I don't think I'll need, I, I'm almost sure I won't need both of them. But I'm going to do it just so that I have it. <laughs> why is it easier to tear one way not the other hello Nicole you know I think there's an edge here and I gotta get past that edge <laughs> there <you go. laughs> am I getting back in my old age hello Peggy thank you so much for the stars all right let's leave that out it'll rip easier There we go. That's all we need of that fabric. All right. Honestly, I don't even, I don't probably even need much of that. And then we're going to cut lengths. Let me show you what the backing is. The backing is here. So we're going to cut some lengths. They don't have to be exactly the same, but you can make them sort of similar. If a few are shorter, it's okay. Another Peggy. Hello. Just cut. You could tear it too if you wanted, but we're gonna get messy tonight. All right. I have to eat my Wheaties. I know. I don't like these. I don't like them. I never did. <laughs> um, I'll drink another protein shake. All right. I just got stack. I think I'm just going to add a few more just in case. Just in case. I don't know that we'll need them though. All right. That should be plenty. All right. So I'm going to get this cutting and we're going to get messy all together. So let's go ahead and do the hat right away because we're going to use grunge. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to do this one. So this is going to be the hat. All right, it's just another, it's scrap fabric. I mean, there's really hardly anything to this, hardly any supplies at all. It's the fabrics. I'm going to show you the batting that I'm using for the hat, but you can definitely use yarn or something like that. And then just a little bit of embellishment um, and, and the grunge. So 
Um, that's really all there is. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this on here so I have an idea of how wide I want that hat because it's gotta go around like that. All right, so I definitely do want it and probably it'll probably go about halfway down so this is the top we're probably going to end up doing it and i'm doing two pieces at one time here and i'm just cutting a triangle all right and let's do one over here don't have the sides very even but all right so and then we're just cutting up to that tip there so we got two triangles here are the two angels you made oh thank you Sybil I love those angels I really do love them and they're so easy right and this honestly is gonna be easy too messy but easy right and and it's sort of cute I think anyhow. All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna get messy now. I'm gonna take this one away because I might need that after. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna grunge these up, but we're gonna grunge them up with a mixture of the coffee grunge. Um, if you do not know what that is. Um, Tracy from My Sweet Home Living is the one I've seen use it and I know other people use it too but that's the one I saw using it so where I got the recipe from um, but it is a cup of hot water a half a cup of instant coffee granules two tablespoons of cinnamon and two tablespoons of vanilla so it smells amazing and then what I did though is we're well, I added some to my Mod Podge, Mod Podge um, probably about a month ago. So I had about that, mod, that much Mod Podge left in here and I added some grunge, maybe about this much grunge and I shook it up. So that's what I'm still using and that's what we're using on this and it's going to give it sort of a crispy but sort of flexible. Um, that's how you can get that fun looking beard. Right, so I'm just laying these on here. Like I said, we're going to get messy with it. When, when I'm done with these, I'm going to get this going too. A few more in here because that we're going to do the same with the hat. All right. And because it is so messy, I am using gloves. I think what we'll do is we'll get, I do have the second plate here. We'll get this over here because we're going to be doing this hat also. So I'm just going to lay that out here so I don't forget to do it. All right. And then I'm just going to use the brush, but I'm going to pour it too. All right. So it's, it, it's going to get wet and we, we're going to have to dry it then to use it. Um, you can dry it, let it air dry. You can put it in a very, very low oven, like 180, 175 for a little while. But I'm going to use my heat gun. And I'm just going to drizzle some over for now. So it's, it's going to take, it's, it's going to take enough. And you want it on both sides. So just really get messy with it. All right move that out of my way how many of you have used the coffee grunge already I said, I said this is coffee grunge mixed in mod podge and it just makes such a great coating i know i'm going to need a little more here you want it all coated it has to be all coated so it'll all absorb in and then we're going to dry it. Mud pies, yes. It's fun playing with this. Like I said, just make sure you get it all over because you don't want any of that white showing from the fabric. If you don't want to use the grunge for um, 
or like a fabric like this, you certainly could use um, like yarn, use um, from the Dollar Tree, the mop head, you could use that. Um, anything that's going to get you the look that you like. But this is going to be a really fun look. And like I said, it, it gets a sort of crispy but flexible um, so that you can shape that beard a little bit. All right, just can make sure you get it again. You don't want any of this white on the fabric showing. If you don't have a fabric like this, you could use just a plain muslin. That would be just fine. Um, and just any anything you have, use scraps. You can see this one there's not much on yet. Get that coated. The Kathy, the smell is amazing. All right. Almost done with the door. All right, I think I got this good and coated. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna do up the hat too right away. Clean up that mess. Whoa. Good and coated. Like I said this is just a mixture of coffee grunge and Mod Podge. And you want it good and coated. We're going to need more here. And it soaks in. And you want to make sure you get the front and the back for this product. Coffee grunge. Okay, so again, um, the coffee grunge is a liquid that you're going to end up storing in your refrigerator in, in a, like a canning jar or, or a container like that and because you shake it up before you use it. But um, I, like I said, it was Tracy from Sweet Home Living is who I saw use it first um, and that's where I got the recipe from. But I know other people have used it too. It's uh, a cup of hot water a half a cup of coffee granules, instant coffee granules, two tablespoons of cinnamon and two tablespoons of vanilla. And you just put it all in the jar and you shake it up good and then you store it in the fridge. And then what I did was I had the Mod Podge, I think I'm done with the Mod Podge though. What I did was have about that, I had about that much Mod Podge left and so I poured probably about that much of the grunge in there. So you can probably add a little more if you wanted, depending on the coloring you want. All right, so, okay, I don't have any in here. I can, let's see, over there. Now we're gonna, this is gonna take a little bit to dry. All right, so now I can chat a little. Thank you for welcoming them, Kathy. Kathy is my uh, moderator too on Crafty Servings Crafting Club. So if you haven't gone over there, you can see other people's inspiration. You can post pictures of your own. Um, so she really is a big help for me and we've developed quite a friendship over the last couple of years. She's, um, She's from Alaska, I'm from Wisconsin, so I don't know that we'll ever meet. I hope we do, but he truly is a friend. When's your next party? Are you ready for another party? Thank you for welcoming all the newbies.
it's good to get that off. All right, and see how, look at that. Isn't that fun? That's, that's fun. All right, let's start putting this, this guy together. All right, so I don't think it matters. So I did try painting first on this one for something else, and I didn't end up using it. It doesn't matter whether you have it, this part up or down. I'm just going to have it up. Where did it get? Our glue going up here. Thank you, Tammy. All right. So I also have like a half circle, and I did go ahead and paint it ahead of time. That's the one thing I prepared. Uh, these are one inch split balls. Get them at Hobby Lobby in the wood pile section, $2.99. Um, so they're really pretty reasonable. I don't know how many are in there. Probably about it's probably six of them. And this is going to be in here. You know what I'm going to do on here, though, is I'm going to... Oh, I thought maybe this grunge that was on this brush yet would add a little color to it. It didn't. It's all right. <laughs> I thought it would add that little bit of color, but it didn't. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and get going. So this is going to be in the middle. I gotta dry that kind of crunch so I don't get that all over me. Oh, Laura, thank you. Laura, you've been with me a long time too. I know you have. I know you have. All right. So, all we're gonna do now, you can see these all like crinkle up like that, but you don't need to crinkle them all the way. Some of them are a little damp yet. It works a little better when it's drier yet, but we're gonna get we're gonna get going. So I'm gonna start probably about halfway down, and we're just we're just creating. The, I'm sorry. All right, and if it. It goes together so like this one was drying together so I just open it up a little bit now if you want you know crinkle it up twist it a little bit um, let's put this one over here now the hat's gonna have to come down over the top of this and then the beard so you just see you probably want it about three quarters up or the nose I should say probably about three quarters up and just can you hear that? That's the text. I froze. And we're going to put a couple layers. Now, this one I didn't get all the way up to the top, so I'm going to make sure that this part is going to be up underneath. Let's just let's not use it for now. Otherwise, I'll make sure that's under. But just crinkle it up. Yeah, it sounds like dry leaves. It's, 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 I mean, it actually works really good. And even after it's completely dry, you can still do a little bit with it. It's not like it's going to always be that it's going to get so crusty that it can't move it. You can still move it. Okay, and I'll show you that on the other one yet. But we're going to try and shape this down into that beard. Scrunch up, add that texture to it. Again, this nose has to go on top of here, so I don't want it too thick in the middle. But we've got to put some in there. Just make it a little flatter for the nose and watch it. It's hot. You can just really scrunch that up. You want that texture. And as it dries, you'll be it it actually gets easier as it dries. Add some more over here. And we're gonna do a couple layers. Thank 
Tammy, this material is from this. I just ripped a piece off. And then we put on a mixture of coffee grunge and Mod Podge. And you get this texture. So it's just so friendly that you can use whatever fabric you have. If you don't want the coffee grunge look, you could still just do Mod Podge and do whatever fabric you, you want. Um, you can certainly do that. It doesn't have to be, this one has white on it, so I'm gonna put it up high enough. I didn't get it all the way. You're just filling in that beard. All right, I missed those comments. All right. Yeah, I'm missing what I saw Sherry answering on something, so. Thank you, Sherry. All right. So I think I'm going to end up actually trimming a little, but we'll see. Or you just really, you could even end up twisting it some just to bring that together. You know, just to add the in interesting textures. listen to that. Isn't that weird? Let's do one in the middle here. All right, I think that's almost enough. I don't know that I messed there. Maybe we'll Thank you, Sherry. Just fun to do. So you had one more sort of fun texture one over here. Thanks, Paula. Another one. I just, <laughs> this would be a nice full beard. You sort of just squeeze them so they come down to that point, is what I'm doing there. All right, and then we've got that half, half bead that we're going to put on there. So it's a one inch is what I'm using on here, but it just really depends upon the size you're doing for, for that background. It's a one inch split ball is what it's called. And I did just paint a little on it and I tried adding a Mod, Mod Podge, the mixture with the grunge in. It did add actually a little color to it. Okay. So that's how we're going now. Let's do the hat. All right, so these were the two triangles I cut out and did that same coffee grunge and dried it up good. Um, we're gonna just open this up and see how that's curling on the edges. Open that up a little, still a little damp. Yes, it is like a muslin. It's, it's actually, you could use muslin. It actually was this fabric, so um, you know, a duck cloth if you have that, uh, whatever you have. This is just um, the homespun fabric, and I did the same thing on it. It's Mod Podge mixing. Why? You can't please everybody. That was really, really hot. So I can put that up on top of there. Let's try to get some of that hot 
blue off where it's hot. Hello, Kathy. Elizabeth, thank you for the stars. I appreciate it. All right, so just squeeze that together. And then we're gonna close up this side too. And because we've got all this Coffee Grunge Mod Podge on it, we're gonna be able to, we don't have to fill it or anything. It's gonna stay up, <laughs> it'll stay up. Pretty flex, pretty stiff but flexible. Just watching because I've got a little bit more right there that wants to burn me. Oh gosh, Sharon, Christmas music already? Oh, I don't think I can do that yet. But we, you know, honestly, we have to start the Christmas crafting, especially if it's something we want you guys to make um, or we hope that you make because you may not be able to get some of the materials when it is closer to Christmas. So you almost have to start. All right, so that's the start of the hat. Just wanna make sure that that's good and dry on there. And then I'll show you what we use for the fur and for the um, palm up here. Just need a little dab in there. I haven't been in for a while. All right. Okay, so this is going to go on here. And so we sized it out before. It's going to end up on here. So I'm going to be able to glue this right away. And I'm just scrunching in these sides because it'll be a little big otherwise. But just scrunching that side. Make sure it comes down far enough so that it's going to cover that hair, the beard. Look how the beard is pressing down. But again, you can pick it right back up and shape it. All right, so now I'm going to do this side also. Let's see, we might have to have a little extra on the back. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going to scrunch a little in the back just because it is sort of big. A small rustic bell. I'm going to be using bells, but they're not going to be for the top. I'll show you how I'm going to make the top. Um, but yeah, absolutely, a small rusty bell would be able would be cute on there. But I am going to use bells. I'll show you. I'll show you. All right. So I'm just going to bend this again. This is so it's flexible but stiff. So we're just going to add a little bit up in there. That tucked above that nose some. So I'm just going to add some down in there. And a button, of course. Cece, of course. You wouldn't think that I'd be able to use a button on here, but I can. Well, I hope you join me on there. All right. All right. So let me show you. Now you can use um, you can use yarn. Um, you can use you know any kind of furry fabric that you have. But let me show you what I have. I have picked it up. I'm just crunching this a little. Just to, um, I have this because I think I was going to do gnome beards with them. I was looking for the fabric that has the real wavy kind of fur. Um, that was probably last year. It was so extremely expensive. So I was looking for something different. So this you get in the upholstery section. Of, like this was in Hobby Lobby, the upholstery section. And I think you must use it for upholstery, I would guess. And, but you can cut 
this open. See how there it's just little strings that you cut open. So I might need a little extra, but then when you open it up, you have all that. So let me get those strings out of the way. We're gonna use some of this for the fur trim. And then also we're gonna make his little hat pom-pom out of that. Just getting those strings off of there. Okay. It probably is a good, a good width also. So that's gonna go around. Let's just, let me just start it here. Actually, it's pretty much, but we'll make do. Cording. I don't know if it's called cording. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's in the upholstery section and they cut off the amount that you want. Um, like I said, I just thought when you open this up, it would be, um, I just wonder if this is too thick yet. No, I want it together. Um, when you open it up you get you get this so you could use yarn you know you get that thicker yarn too all right so i'm just gonna start it off back here i'm starting to itch from it too Okay, we're gonna bring it around. We'll add some there. Still working on that beard because I want it separated a little bit. All right, we gotta put it up under the nose here. So you're just gonna play with that. Maybe fleece batting would work. I think so. You know, honestly, you could use, yeah, fleece batting. You could use anything that you want to make a trim. You can use any fabric that you want for the beard. You don't have to use coffee grunge. You could just use straight Mod Podge. Same with for the hat. Use what you have. Um, the Mod Podge is what makes it sort of flexible, um, but, but yet sort of stiff. And the hot, hot glue makes it hot. <laughs> Oh goodness, that was hot. That's what I get for not being on for three weeks, right? All right, let's just add some of this. That was really hot. Yes, the really thick yarn, that's, yeah, I mentioned the yarn before because, yeah, definitely the really thick yarn would work for this also. There's so many different options you could do for this. And when you use this, you might have to um, do in between these layers because there's a lot of layers in that. All right, so this hat, we're going to scrunch this hat a little bit, but then I'm also going to fold it over like this. that. I'll actually put just a little dab of glue in there. I've got that fiber all over me. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little glue so that it stays because it does have a mind of its own. 
All right, let's create the little pom-pom at the kindness drawing. All right, the, all I'm gonna do to create this, take a couple of these, and we're going to just roll it together like that. So again, I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Oops, a little more. So we're just gonna make a little, a little poof. You could use, also use a pom-pom. You could definitely use that, but I love the color of this and I love that it matches with that. So we're just making our own. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. I'm glad to be back on. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to be back on. All right, I'm just roll it a little more, I think. Where are the little rubber fingers for the hot glue? I know, they hurt my fingers too, but I guess not as much as the hot glue. I know, they're, they're not big enough for me. I do have one of those spatulas makeup. It's fun to have a table of all of us. It would be. All right, I think we're gonna do one more, one more roll here, and then that's gonna be enough. And then we gotta try and bury those ends. burning me. Well, I missed you guys too, Norma. Yeah, I don't. All right. Just made a little, see the little, little pom-pom and it matches that. So it was easy to make with it. Put a little there, yeah, just, uh, Keep those ends down. Okay. And then I'm going to put this right on the end. I'm going to need a little more glue, I think, to hold that down. Feel back skin on that one. All right. All right. Can you just play with these? As they're drying, you can play with them more. For half an hour, I have to do that banner. All right. If they're too long, you can scrunch them up in there or trim them off. Okay, let's finish doing the... Somebody mentioned bells. All right, first let's put a hanger on. So I've got this thicker jute. I don't know what ply it is. It's pretty mini ply. I'm just gonna tie it in a knot. You can use whatever kind of hanger you want. Yes, Diane, you watch you watch what all I did. It's messy. Yeah, wood slices, I love using them. I feel like that one's coming out. I almost have to put that one back down. So it's probably a little damp when I was putting it on. All right, so the hanger, I just tied that knot. And I'm going to hang it on there because that's actually cute having that hanger like that. Just center it on the back there. All 
Oh, yes, it would look really cute on a wood background. I actually made a little fabric gnome last year on a wood disc. Um, that you just you could see the disc around it. All right, so then we're going to use, we're going to have that. We need this. We need some raffia. We need a button. And then, so my little rustic bells, my little rusty bells, I got these last year, a bunch of them on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I like these bells go out of here. So I can always use these for something, but I want the bells. So I'm just going to cut them off. There's little, they're little tiny ones. And we'll use three of them because they say you always are supposed to do threes. little booger and they are rusty just taking out this wire that's hanging on um, that one doesn't have to that one does but make your own rusty bells too you certainly can do that all right we're going to just stick them in here. We're going to do a little three, three thing like little berries here. We're going to have a button. Cash is in laying down. Usually when Larry goes to bed, Cash will go, go along and lay in there. Not in bed, but he's too big for that. All right, we got this little bells. Now we're going to take just a couple. These are just branches from something. I don't know even what. It was probably bigger, longer. We're going to take a couple of them. Just to add a little green in here. Peek that under there. Yeah, you did, Marla. Thank you, Kathy. Thanks, Joan. Put that in there. We're gonna add one over here too. I said, honestly, you probably have most of this at your house. that um where'd that button go we got that button here we got raffia let me show you what we're going to do with the raffia just to add a little bit of interest push the hat a little bit and just looks a little cuter i'm going to take that and wrap that around here too uh, let's see You know, not much, just a little. It just adds a little something to it. Tie that in the back, and then we'll have to put little spots of glue. Sorry for passing me on. I appreciate that. Okay, let's just put a little dab, just a couple spots, just to hold it in place. You don't need a lot. Just a little 
dab down here. Probably all you need. I think it's being held good on there. All right, this beard is getting a mind of its own. Now we gotta add a little something to the beard yet. Somebody else threw out stars. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I missed. Okay, just shape it a little bit so it comes down there. Um, let's go ahead and add the button right away. I just picked out this tiny little button because you can't put nothing big on here because you don't want it to really um, take away from anything else. So we're just putting a little button just to have a button on. I'm just trying to see where and then we're going to add just a little flecks of gold on here. Just little highlights of gold. So the button sort of hides a little bit there. Whoops, it looks like a mole or something. <laughs> All right, so let's just grab a little bit of gold, just to add a little highlights. I didn't think I was going to look through my fabric. Are you going to look through your fabric now? This is just the, let's see, it's Deco Art Extra Sheen Champagne Gold. Yeah. You don't need much. I said, as this dries, you're going to be able to even mold it even more. I'm just going to add little on these edges. And I'll show you the other one that I did so that you can see how it molds even more. You can even add a little up on this hat here on some of the edges. You just you have to play with it and shape it. There we go. There we go. Can you turn out cute? So my rustic Santa nose <laughs> stuff all over. So do you like him? I think he turned out pretty cute, right? And he was fun and messy. This was the other one they did earlier. It's very similar, but it's got that little bit shorter beard. Um, this one's got a little bit longer, but like I said, as you, I mean, definitely it gets, gets even stiffer. So then you're going to be able to do a little more with it as it gets stiffer. It's still a little bit damp when I was putting it together, but, and that little button 